listening to the song Welcome Into This Place by Matthias Peck. I'm going to show you the chords and the structure of the song. I'm going to show you the secrets behind how gospel musicians think and improvise. Stay tuned. See why I react the way I do. I find it helpful actually in this video, I'm going to sketch out the chords here. And here are the, here are the chords of this song. Oh, I know where you were going there. Yeah, yeah, so you're gonna understand how musicians think, man, on this channel, this is what we're gonna do. Oof, but it's gonna also help those of you who wanna learn, who wanna find out how to do these things for yourself. So let's get started. Without further ado, thank you. I'm Sean Wilson Piano. And we're here playing my new Yamaha Avant Garde, man. <laughs> Did y'all hear that right there? <laughs> Where'd the B? Uh, <laughs> Woo! Uh, 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 you have that right stretch too in that left. Now he's turning it around. So cool, man. This stuff is so cool. Trying to figure out that chord. <laughs> so, with the structure in place, it's helpful for us as beginners and as intermediate musicians to see what's kind of going on here. We're in the key of A, and the A scale is A, B, C sharp, D, E. F sharp, G sharp, and A. And if you run those triads, it's A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D major. And in the chord chart here, if it's a major, I just put D. That represents the D major chord. And if it's an E, I just put E. That represents an E major chord. And then we have an F sharp minor. You have the G sharp diminished and back to A. And as a beginner, that's all you need to know is just to memorize your triads and you can play this song. The beauty of what's happening here is we take how he changes that. We take what happens to this basic structure of the song and what he does to that. Let's start from the beginning and see what's going on. So we have this welcome. All right, so there we got that da -da 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 -da. so what's happening there so he's changing the c sharp minor to an f sharp so that changes i'm going to write an f sharp here i'm going to have to excuse my left hand handwriting man all right and then in order to get to that f sharp he's doing a diminished chord two diminished chords dim dim <laughs> right then he goes from here he goes there and then he goes there right and then then he hits his d so that's a cool change. And this is what we talk about when we talk about what harmony and improv is. All it is is just kind of taking what's existing and saying, how do I want to change that? And what do I want to do? So he has this welcome. And then he has this. So that's C diminished chord here. Diminished chord. Diminished chord. Diminished chord. And then here. That's all replacing that one C sharp minor that you see there. Unto this. So he should be playing a D major there unto this broken vessel, but he plays this instead unto this. 
he plays that instead. Do you, look at how that sounds. Just listen to the sound of it. Instead of going unto this broken vessel, he's doing unto this. Right? Bro, you hear that it sounds? Right? Broken vessel. Unto, the, unto this, bro. Broken vessel. And then. And then he does something else. This this is just craziness. So you desire to abide. The word abide should be another C sharp minor there, but he changes that to a D. But then he breaks all the rules <laughs> that we have for approaching this D, which gospel, which which technical theory says we approach from its five, which means I should be approaching this D from five up which is an a but he approaches it instead from a b seven to the d so all of this stuff you gotta understand conversations happening here between me and matthias all you're hearing is my noises in the background but we're having a conversation <laughs> the average person probably doesn't even know what's going on here in terms of the levels of stuff that's going on but my ear is picking up on all this and then i'm reacting to that because we're having a conversation i'm like i didn't realize you were going to go there we're having a conversation without words what? what was that part what did what happened there well he should have played an f sharp he was at an f sharp here and he was supposed to move to this f sharp here but if I look and see an F sharp, <laughs> this stuff is so cool, man. So look at this. This is an F sharp chord here, right? What's one way we could embellish an F sharp chord? Well, you could take the one of F sharp, which is a F sharp minor, the two of F sharp, which is an A flat minor, the three of F sharp, which is an A major. And if we play those together, that's all we have. We can add the seventh, which is the G sharp. We can add the seventh to that chord and put it at the bottom. So, so everything that he's doing actually has has some kind of explanation. And that's the goal of my channel is to try to take all the stuff that people do and say, oh my goodness, here's here's what's going on here, and here's why it's so crazy. Here's why you should be studying this, and here's why you should be reacting and and learning this stuff, right? Ah. Uh. Uh, so this is quite a learn from Mike, right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So one day I'm listening to the joy, right? Listen yeah, yeah, to what yeah. he plays. He plays something. I don't know what yeah, he playing, yeah, 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 yeah. but I guess he was, you know, he was he was here with it. I guess he was like, but he went like this. Look at that. Mm. It's resolved in the right yeah. and sus on the on the on, on in the left. What? <laughs> What's the context of that? Yo, it was something crazy, but I love it. <laughs>